A Bloodborne PC and PS5 remaster may be coming soon, and the most bizarre graphics card I've ever seen was just posted online. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So I don't know about you guys, but I know for me personally, I'm a huge fan of the Dark Souls and Bloodborne developer from Software Studios. I really like all the different games that they've come up with. And, you know, if I was to rank their games, I think my top two favorite games that they've ever made would be the game Sekiro as well as Bloodborne. Now, I think if I was going to rank uh, what's the actual best game they've ever made, I think for me personally, I'd have to go with Sekiro. And the main reason for that would be that you can actually play that game at 60 frames per second. And on PC, you can actually modify the game to play it beyond 60 frames per second you can actually be playing at like 120 frames per second. And for me with these fast paced action games, getting 60 frames per second or better is definitely a must have. And so going back and trying to play Bloodborne now is really difficult for me as it just feels, you know, very, very slow to play at 30 frames per second. And on top of that, you know, you can really only play it on the PS4 and PS5. And to make matters worse, it's also still stuck at 1080p, which if your screen isn't very big, you know, that's not too big of an issue. 1080p uh, definitely does look really good, especially if you're running a native 1080p panel still. However, if you're running a 1440p or even a 4K panel, 1080p starts to look not so great, especially if it's a very big panel. So you combine uh, the lower resolution compared to newer games as well as the lower frame rate. And it's definitely just a lot harder to play that game. It feels a lot slower. It's a lot harder to make out the details on characters. So I'm really, really surprised that they haven't released a 60 frames per second patch of this game yet. However, you know, I have been hearing a whole bunch of different rumors, uh, people talking about a 60 frames per second version coming or possibly even a remaster version of Bloodborne coming to not only PS5 but as well as PC and recently I reached out to the YouTuber Red Gaming Tech which by the way if you're not subscribed to this guy I highly suggest you do so he has some really good inside sources and he has a lot of good information so again make sure to go subscribe to him I will have a link in the description below but when I reached out to him for some more information on the Bloodborne PS5 and PC remaster that potentially could be coming and honestly I do believe there's going to be at least some version of this game that does end up making its way at least to PS5 and hopefully PC as well. Uh, here's what he had to say on it. So according to Red Gaming Tech, he was told that it does exist and the person who shared the information with him actually told him about the Demon Souls remaster prior to its announcement as well as a few other details about the game. Now apparently his source insists that the Bloodborne PC and PS5 remaster does exist and it will be coming out. However, it's not coming out just yet and there is a little bit of work to be done yet before it can come out as this is not going to be just a simple port of the game to PC and PS5. It's not going to be a just a 60 frames per second upgraded. It's apparently going to have a whole bunch of different things that have been changed about the game, and it may actually even have additional content. So that's definitely really exciting to hear. I know that there's been some content that actually was cut out of the original uh, PS4 version of Bloodborne. There's a lot of various different things that if you go through the Chalice Dungeons, uh, there's some additional content that it seems like it should have been in the game, but they ended up really not doing anything with it. It kind of ended up on the cutting floor, uh, so they ended up just kind of putting it in there as items, and there's a whole bunch of various different content that people like Lance McDonald, who are very popular in the Bloodborne community, have discovered. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of stuff that could be added back into the game. I hope that does end up happening. And apparently, uh, Red Gaming Tech isn't 100% sure whether or not this game is going to exist. Uh, I have heard from several different people that apparently it's in the works. However, again, nobody's 100% sure if this thing is actually going to end up coming out. And if it does come out, when it's actually coming out. I mean, we could be talking about maybe it does end up coming out by the end of this year, or maybe it could be like a next year type of thing. There's just no information on that right now. So unfortunately, I cannot give you guys a release date, uh, but hopefully it does end up coming out sometime soon if it is going to come out. Uh, now, there's another piece of information that's a little bit interesting I want to talk about. So recently, Lance McDonald, who, by the way, if you don't know who he is, he actually is the guy who made the 60 frames per second version of Bloodborne that you can run on a modified PS4. But I believe recently he mentioned that Bloodborne could potentially be upgraded to 60 frames per second fairly easily on the PS5. So, you know, at the very least, if we don't end up getting a full remaster on the PC as well as PS5, maybe at the very least, we will end up getting, say, a 60 frames per second update to the game, and maybe even it'll run at like 1440p or something, but hey, I'll take anything I can get, because again, guys, I really want to play this game again, but I go back, and it's 30 frames a second, I just keep thinking to myself, this thing is gonna come out, they're gonna have a 60 frames per second version at the very least, so I'm just gonna keep waiting for that, and I'm just going to keep waiting until they do end up releasing some sort of update, because I would really love to play this game at 60 frames per second, but let me know what you think, are you okay with 30 frames per second, or are you really waiting for that 60 frames per 
second update and do you think it's going to actually happen let me know your thoughts in the comments below but now let's go ahead and talk about that really bizarre GPU that was posted online so this is a gigabyte concept art I believe what we're looking at here and you know if you take a look at the image you'll see that this GPU is just a very strange amalgamation of metal uh, on top of a PCB so what we're looking at here is it's kind of like a sloped GPU and I think what they were going for here is that they were trying to make a GPU that when you put it in your system you can actually see the really nice shroud that they've created however I would argue that this shroud really isn't that nice but you know either way I know what they're going for here uh, the actual concept that they're showing here clearly isn't a finished product it's got all kinds of weird dimensions going on here it's got like a DVI out which I don't really think many cards use these days and then on top of that I think that the actual GPU bracket is put on backwards so that definitely wouldn't work too well as you would just be looking at the back side of the metal of this GPU in its current form but again I think I know where they're going with this thing uh, it's really bizarre I think it would technically work you could get it to work uh, however you know taking a look at this actual cooler design I think it really wouldn't be too effective especially if you're putting it on a really high power draw card such as an RTX 3090 or 3080 so you know it's definitely interesting to see these types of designs uh, maybe say the next generation of cards they will come up with something that looks kind of similar to this and to put the GPU on top of the PCB uh, it would take a little bit of engineering I'm sure they could do it but it would definitely be a little bit weird and I'm not entirely sure how great that would actually work but hey that's just what I think would you buy a GPU like this let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course I'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like every time you do so AMD and Nvidia get more stock also if you want to see more click here you won't be disappointed